Hiya folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Return of the Obra Dinn. And when last we left off, there are only a handful of fates left for us to deduce. And I think I know how to figure out one of them. We have to go all the way over to here and follow the blood. But we need to figure your fate out. But as for what happened on the boat, I think Nichols wanted to get that magical shell that the Formosan royalty were transporting. And he got discovered after knocking out the guard and murdered one of the crewmen and framed the Formosan guard for the murder. And then later, he kidnapped the Formosan royalty and took the treasure with him, trying to get to the Canary Islands, only to be attacked by the mermaids. The mermaids were likely lured by the treasure. And he managed alone to get back, and he was shot, and then they took the mermaid bodies down below deck, some of them weren't fully dead, and that was when the terrible things started happening. Whether it be that they were lured by the treasure, or spurred on by a desire for revenge for what happened to the mermaids. First, those weird crab things appeared. I'm not sure if those crab things were just crab monsters that looked like they had bodies on them, or if those bodies were repurposed from the sailors that drowned. That's not important in the end, because they attacked the ship. Lots of people died, and when that didn't work, the Kraken came and attacked. So there were very few people on board at that point, and some people managed to escape, and then the last few terrible moments on the ship happened. Okay, I need to have another look at who accidentally shot you, because I think we do have to put down that it was that you got shot. So, they were making for the lazarette, probably to try and free the mermaids. Who made that shot? Oh, I think that's Charles. I think that's Charles. Now that I've had a look at him, I think that's uh, Charles Minor. I think that's Charles Minor. By mistake, you shot him. Now, as for the rest of the people, the few people that I have left, you were clubbed by Wittrell. You were clubbed by Wittrell. And you were shot by Nichols. You're very difficult to identify. At this point, I think I just have to guess. Are you Timothy Bootman? Yes, you are! Okay, well done. Two more fates are correct. You were, in fact, shot by Edward Nichols. And you were, in fact, accidentally shot by Charles Minor. This puts us very close. Very close indeed. But we're not done. We are not done. There are still a few more fates that we can probably deduce. At this point, by... by guessing, because we don't know these people. We don't know who these people are. Um... So, the only ones we've got left of the crew, we don't know what happened to Martin Parrot. We also don't know what happened to Philip Dahl. We also don't want know what happened to Lewis Walker and George Shirley. So the only people left, there's you. You might be George Shirley or you're Lewis Walker. Are you Lewis Walker? Yes, you are. So those are two all currently solvable fates are solved. I cannot solve any more. I have all the information I can use. You were blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. 
And that puts me there. There is nothing left to do on the Obra Dinn. So the only thing that we can do now is, is leave. That's it. We figured it out. Everything that happened to most of the... Most of the crew. Hang on. So we don't know what happened to Philip Dahl or to Martin Parrott. What happened to them? So that's it. We, we, we can't figure out anything else on the Obra Dinn. So the only thing we can do now is leave. That is the only thing we can do. We should leave before the storm gets worse. But we don't know what happened to Dahl. And we don't know what happened to Parrot. What happened to Parrot? Well, I, I've done all I can here. Don't ask how I figured it all out. But I think it's time for us to go. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Ah, okay. We have a little timer thing, but I think we're good to go. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> There's still the bargain. What happened there? One week later. The Honourable East India Company. Insurance for the good ship Obra Dinn. Uh, ship damaged in Squall Atlantic. Sunk in storm. Falmouth. Payout claimed 20,000. Cargo or cargo lost. Payout claim 5,000. Cargo crown or cargo lost. Payout claim 3,000. Robert Whittrell, fate, suicide gun, criminal findings, murder of crewmates, estate forfeited by crown. Understandable. William Hoskett, fate shot Whittrell, findings, attempted mutiny, estate fined. £25. Edward Nichols, fate shot gun, murder of crewmates, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, fined £100. Uh, Martin Perriott, fi fate unknown, findings of merit, Extraordinary valour, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded. Outstanding wages and a reward of £90. In that time period, that's a lot. John Davies, uh, murder of crewmate, estate fine £15. Alfred Cleestal, Bosom, exceptional performance of duties, torn apart by beast, estate awarding, outstanding wages and reward of £70. Charles Minor, uh, torn apart, beast, uh, murder crewmate, estate finding, uh, yeah. Yeah, he did accidentally shoot someone. Uh, fate alive, findings of demeritment, abandonment of crew and vessel, estate awarded, outstanding wages, 50 pounds. Okay. James Wallace, decapitated beast, findings, extraordinary valour, 50 pounds. Spiked, 60 pounds for Winston Smith. Uh, Marcus Gibbs, spiked, outstanding wages donated to Pensham, fund, okay. Clubbed by Beast, estate awarded, £40. Exceptional performance of duties by the Butcher, £40. Christian Wolf, exceptional performance of duties. And, uh, Gunner's Mate, murder of crewmate, yep, yeah, £50 there. Drowned by the Beast, Abandonment of Crew and Vessel, Estate Awarded Outstanding, uh, Wages 50 pounds. Torn Apart, yep, Estate Awarded 30, Estate Awarded 50. Crushed by Rigging, No Claim Made, yeah. Knifed by, uh, Nichols, 
No claim made. Okay. Alive in Africa. Estate fine, £35. Not sure she's going to care about that. Alive in Africa, fined £10. Claude. No claim made. Burned. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate, expenses claim £25. Uh, spiked. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate. Shot. No claim made. Shot with a gun. Estate awarded £35. Criminal findings, demerit, failure to perform duties. Ah, that is true. And the murder of a crewmate. Killed by a sword. Findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, £45. Knifed, theft of cargo, attempted mutiny. Yep, a fine there. Crushed with a cannon, £10 claim. Uh, alive in Africa. No claim made against Davy James. That's interesting. Uh, estate awarded £40 for Peter Milroy. Knifed, £30 there. £50 for Charles Herstick. Not surprising considering he... Ouch, Charles Herstick. Omid Gull. Uh, exceptional performance of duties. Indeed. Timothy Butman. Again, exceptional performance of duties. Huang Li. More exceptional performance of duties. Oh yeah, these people... The things they had to go up against. Li Hong was speared. Theft of cargo, attempted mutiny. Yeah. Wei Li, exceptional valor. Yep. Nicholas Botterill, state awarded. Torn apart. Yep. Exceptional performance of duties, estate unknown. Outstanding wages and reward donated to pension funds. You have Lewis Walker, clubbed by Wittrell. Attempted mutiny. Yeah, fine. Leonid Volkov, uh, yeah, murdered someone. Estate unknown. Alakas Nikishin, drowned, yep, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, expenses claimed. Uh, you were drowned, yep, got expenses again. Nathan Peters, abandonment of crew and vessel, estate fine, £25. Ah, Lars Lind, state awarded £15. John Naples, exceptional performance of duties, £25. Renfred Rajab, £15. Abraham Akbar, Exceptional performance of duties. Yep, £25 there. William Wassam, £25 there. Solomon Sayed, illness, £15. Uh, Hamado, £25. Henry Brennan, yeah, £50 fine there. Um, Alexander Booth, Van uh, Demerit, abandonment of vessel and crew, awarded £5. Uh, Patrick O'Hagan was speared. Also attempted mutiny, theft of cargo. George Shirley. Extraordinary valour. Samuel Peters. Also a reward. A preliminary draft of the assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Total claimed £29,285. On behalf of the Honourable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Sign. But do we do well? The pocket watch remains in your possession. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans in Morocco, as requested. Yeah, I forgot about that clue to tell me where Henry Evans was. Oh, I like that little bit there. And then... And then, I was promised. One year later, I was promised answers. Ah, we have tea. Oh. 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 Don't mind me. Nice house. Huh. Weather's bad. Can you believe it? A package at this hour. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Better you don't open it inside. I'll be turning in now. Tea's in the kitchen. 
kitchen if you need me. I can It's the book again, isn't it? Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. What is this? Figure out the rest with this. This tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. The bargain. Let's get that watch. What happened? It. He was spiked. He was spiked by the beast. And you... You were also dead. Oh dear. Okay. Nothing good indeed. Nothing good at all. You were there. There's the hand. In the lazarette. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in pursuit of knowledge. Two other people were present. Paul Moss. You. There's more, though. There's more, though. We know what happened to you now. We know your fate. And we'll probably be able to figure that out in a moment. Because there's more for us! So... You next. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. A third shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. Stop, why? Well, let you free. Give it the shell. Do it! Hoist it out. To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Get the tail, boy. Okay. 
So you're there. Yep. You made a bargain! That's what you did, you bargained here! Okay. That's what you did. So you were indeed. You... You threw the shells away. Stand now. That was the bargain. How did you die? Well, I know how you died. You were spiked by a terrible beast. You were. But that's not the only death here. There's also you. Oh! There's also you! I'll kill every last one of you monsters. Withdraw the Kraken, or I will kill you all! Well... This witch roll. Witcher was... Witcher was fighting them. And there's the shell. There's the shell. It was put back here. In oh, they were in the lazar... No wonder! They were in the lazarette! Captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. And no one else was present. But that's not all! There's another one! Oh, he was killing them! Call it off, damn you! This is your Kraken! You brought it here! Send it back! That was the bargain! The mermaids called the Kraken in vengeance for... Okay, I, I'm, I'm figuring it out now. Still haven't figured out what happened to you yet. You were manacled. You were manacled. I don't want to think about your fate. You were probably killed by the, uh... That was the bargain. Oh dear. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Is there... It's your turn now. It's your turn now. Silver. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that wasn't a smart thing to do at all. So you you burned yourself with what was in there, the quicksilver. And you retrieved the shell. So, poisoned, burned, electrocuted, I thought eaten would be the fate for you, but no. That's the lazarette. I thought this was the whole thing was the lazarette, but apparently that's the lazarette. So yeah, you... You did a stupid thing. That does not shock me. That was a bit dumb. No one else was present! No. No. You were burned. 
Yes, you were. Well done. All fates correct. Philip Dahl burned to death. And Martin Parrot was spiked by the terrible beast. And with that, we know everything. We know everything now. We know everything. A doomed voyage indeed. And all because of Nichols' greed. Without Nichols' greed, this would have been fine. Well, there we go. goes there. Look at all our trinkets. The end. That is an end. That is indeed an end. And what a game! For your dad, and it, what a great gift for your dad. All the pieces finally come together. I now know what happened to the Oberdin. And oh boy, was that a doomed voyage. All triggered, not by Wittrell, but by Nichols. Nichols' greed started a spiral of death and misery. Without that, there'd have only been a few casualties. But no, the shell, plural. They were the ones that the mermaids wanted these ancient treasures. And then when the mermaids were captured, the crab things were sent, lured by the mermaids' call. And then the kraken! And then Wittrell made his... Yeah, made his bargain. There were a lot of uh, terrible things, but... At least a few people managed to get away. The voice actors did a fantastic job. The game is fantastic. Did I play it exactly how it was intended to be played? No. I, I did take some big leaps, some big guesses that maybe I shouldn't have, that I should, that I probably shouldn't have, but uh, there we go. It is what it is. I did what I did and uh, I still figured it all out in the end. It's amazing how I went into it thinking, I've no idea how to deduce any of this. And then slowly things just came together. I'll tell you what, I've learned a fair bit about how ships functioned back then. Various positions on the crew and... Interesting. It's a very interesting game, a very enjoyable game. I'm glad I played it. I'm very glad I played it. But oh my. Oh my, I think if I played it again in the future, and it would have to be a long way in the future, I'd look even closer at certain things. I'd look even closer at certain things. It was a fantastic experience, though. One I definitely don't regret. A good choice voted for by all of you. And I hope that the good choices continue as we go on to other games. As we know what the next game to follow after this is, because it was voted for by all of you. I do believe it was Quest for Glory 2. Most likely the remake of Quest for Glory 2. Also, I have been told that there are a couple of Easter egg endings that you can get. At least one that is a very silly one that's technically correct. Technically correct. Thanks for playing. Thank you for making the game, Lucas. It's a fantastic game. But yes, what will come after this? Quest for Glory 2, likely the remake. The continuing adventures of Derek. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. For I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Return of the Obra Dinn. A very enjoyable experience. The Obra Dinn is a very unique game. A game that can only truly be played once. And I'll get you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.
listen to that music. I do love the music for this game. It's fantastic. It truly is. Anyway, I'm rambling. Later.